Well, we're following up tonight on Denver's park rangers. We told you last month that rangers are rolling or patrolling in larger teams to keep tabs on off leash dogs, but their numbers have grown even more since then. Denver 7's Rob Harris shows us how the biggest ranger staff in the department's history is getting ready to deal with homelessness as summer arrives. This summer, you're more likely than ever before to run into a team of rangers in Denver parks. They just brought on 17 more people, putting them at the biggest team they've ever had. Even still, though, you're going to have to keep an eye out to even notice them. The biggest team ever is about 45 rangers, and those 45 rangers have more than 200 parks to patrol. At first glance, many confuse them as police officers or sheriff's deputies. They'll say, look out, it's the police, and my first thing is where? Um, I've got pepper spray and a baton, but like, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't have handcuffs. We, we're not armed. The Denver Park Rangers are growing in number just as the weather gets warmer and more people of all backgrounds start using our parks more. We're keeping um, control of some of the violations that we see. I would say, especially downtown, one of our biggest priorities is trying to look for people experiencing homelessness who are in the parks who, who might need some resources. Not having a home is not a violation of park rules, but setting up a tent or using drugs or staying in parks after the 11 p.m. curfew are. That's when rangers will intervene, hoping to connect individuals with resources. When I first started downtown, yeah, April of 2020, in between Civic and uh, the state capitol was uh, basically you just couldn't see any grass there. It was pretty much nothing but tents. We've seen a lot of resources go into it, and I feel like we've seen a lot of good results in my opinion. This year, park rangers are partnering with the Well Power Mental Health Center. A mental health clinician will now join ranger teams to help talk to people having mental health crises. To be able to have our clinicians with us and say, you're interested in resources, here's somebody who can give you options right now and talk to you in the same conversation has just been a really big game changer. The rangers say it often takes several conversations, but they've seen the breakthroughs to know that it can work. Little wins, big wins, we'll, we'll take them all. Parks need to be safe and clean for everybody to use, whether you're a toddler, um, a senior citizen, somebody experiencing homelessness, um, an addict, any of those things, people can use the parks as long as park rules are being followed. For Denver 7, park rules have to be followed. I'm Rob Harris.